Calisthenics is among the best ways to start your adventure with getting fit. This is simply because bodyweight exercises are very flexible and they require minimum technique on a beginner level. Going to the gym to lift weights for the first time can be very intimidating. Should I use machines or free weights? How much weight to put on? What exercises should I do? These are just a few questions most beginners have and without a personal trainer it can be very hard to structure your workouts properly. But with calisthenics there are just a few simple rules and tips that will give you enough knowledge to start training without frustration and with great results. So let's get to it. Before every workout you need to warm up. There are unlimited ways to do it, but the goal is to increase the temperature of your muscles, stretch your body a little and prepare it for more intense training. Proper exercises for warm-up should be quite easy and engage your whole body. Great examples would be skipping rope, jumping jacks, shadow boxing, running in place and so on. Do a few sets of these until you feel warmed up. For the main part of workout you should be doing full body workout focusing on basics. As a beginner there is no need or reason for you to do cycles. Doing full body workout 3 to 4 times a week is optimal. Workout should be structured very simply, especially in the beginning, when you can be disoriented by multitude of exercises and training methods. So let's get to the details. To do the full body workout, you need to exercise every muscle group. So let's start with determining those groups. Chest, shoulders, back, abs, legs, biceps and triceps. This is the basic division. By doing at least one exercise which primarily uses one of these muscle groups, you will train the whole body. Also bear in mind that most bodyweight exercises uses majority of your muscles, so triceps exercise can also strain your chest, back exercise can exhaust your biceps and so on. As the beginner you shouldn't worry too much about reps and sets. The simplest way to tackle this is to set an overall number of reps you want to do and achieve it in as few sets as you can. Also choose exercises which allow you to do at least 5 to 10 reps of it in a single set. If you can do only 3 or 4 pull-ups maximum, don't do them. Choose easier variation of the exercise like Australian pull-ups. Now I will show you example workout following these guidelines in two variations, easier and harder. As the beginner category is very wide and contains people with different starting levels of strength and endurance. Thank you. 